This guy came directly from the Lord of the Rings saga to participate in the greatest game of all existence. To counter him, pick someone like Nasus who can easily ignore the damage he has to throw at him and stack in peace. Pantheon can spam his Q without much of a response, and Swain can pretty much heal all the damage taken from him and hit every single one of his abilities due to Mao's easy positioning. Darius can melt him in the lane every time, Cho'Gath's true damage is a godsend versus a tank like him, and Vladimir who can pull to dodge his easy slow ultimate or W make other good counters as well. Maokai's passive makes his next auto periodic restore some of his missing health. Every ability he uses or gets hit by reduces his passive's cooldown. His Q deals damage in a cone in front of him and knocks all enemies back, also slowing them briefly. His W is a point click root that makes him dash to the enemy location becoming untargetable while he's traveling. His E makes him fling a sapling to a location granting him vision and also tether themselves to nearby enemies when they pass and explode slowing them and dealing damage. Finally his ultimate will cover the size of a lane and a bunch of branches will start to slowly move forward, rooting all enemies and the first champion hit by by each of the five branches. The utility this guy brings in fights is the amount of CC he can produce and how sticky he can become without going down. He'll W to a target, Q them back a bit, and stick to them like he's just another sapling of his. As for spells, it's almost a guarantee of mine that you'll see him run teleport and flash, so you should be taking the same to not get a disadvantage when he teleports the lane or TP ganks and you have to walk. In terms of power spikes, he's not the best laner and has trouble dealing with poke, especially if he gets cut off from farming and abusing his passive's healing. His level 3 allows him to deal some interesting damage, but but never enough to kill you and will probably not win trades unless his passive is up as well. Righteous Glory can really make his engages scary as he can go for the backline, and Spirit Visage will make him ignore most of the frontline's damage and also instantly increase his passive healing by a lot. Mid game might be good if he's already ahead and can tank it up a bit, and his late game usefulness is pretty OP. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, his passive will make trades easier for him, his ultimate is really slow and each branch disappears after hitting one single enemy so line up behind a tank, ultimately have fun doing it.